Hi, Steve Book here. I would like to talk about the JJP Artist Signature Plugins for Keys and Strings. Today, we will be applying this plugin to string parts for an orchestral cue that I'm working on. This series of plugins was designed by producer Jack Joseph Puig. They are essentially all-in-one plugins for each set of instruments with inherent preset tweakable sounds. They're very easy to use and you will instantly notice a difference in your track just by applying the default setting of the plugin. The Keyboard Strings plugin is mainly a combination of EQ and compression with some other sounds such as space and doubler. There are sliders for specific aspects of the plugin to boost or cut certain sounds. Today, we will be applying the plugin to the group set of high strings, which are violins and violas, and low strings, which are cellos and bass. For the high strings, as you can see, there is a high string button, which basically is utilizing the preset internal sounds of the plugin tuned for the higher strings. The same is true for the lower strings. This set of controls on the left is the main section, which is basically an EQ and compressor with a slider that controls the output level of that EQ and compressor section. You want to get the sensitivity LED in the yellow to really have the plugin be as effective as possible. For each individual pre-bust instrument, I have applied a little reverb in the Sheps plugin, just to slightly enhance the sound. You will notice the biggest difference once the JJP plugin is applied to the bust track. Let's listen to the whole track with the plugins turned off and then on. Now I will turn the plugins on. Okay, so you probably noticed a little bit of a volume jump, and that was mainly due to the EQing difference between the plugins being turned off and then on. So now let's individually listen to each string group with the plugins turned off and then on, and then I'll move the sliders around so you can hear how they enhance the sound. So first we'll listen to the high strings. Okay, now we'll go ahead and listen to the low strings first with the plug-in off, and then I'll turn it on. And there you have it. I hope this has been helpful and definitely experiment with different settings that will suit the tracks you're working on. So now finally we'll listen to everything together with the plugins turned on.
Thanks for watching, and feel free to contact me with any questions at info at stevebook.com or through Facebook.